If there's one thing that's definitely different between men and women, it's breasts. I mean, yeah, we have different, you know, plumbing down there, but we do both have plumbing. It's just some of us have a, you know, an intake valve and the others have a uh, outtake, out, out valve. One's a penis. But I don't have anything up top. Like, I can't imagine what it would be like to have things here that have to be, you know, strapped in lest they fly all about. But I'm sure women feel the same way about us. At least, Elaine did on Seinfeld. I don't know how you guys walk around with those things. <laughs> the point is, breasts might be the one thing, you know, the one instinct that we're all born with, you know, because that's what we feed on when we're babies. Other animals can walk right away or can fly right away. Some of them can hunt right away, but we can't do anything. We're just like lumps of doughy flesh that can't even crawl, but we know one thing and one thing only. Go for the boob. And sometimes I think that never fully goes away. Breastfeeding is the sole domain of women because they're the ones with the breasts, with the mammary glands. They're the only ones that can fulfill that role. At least you would think so. Yeah, turns out men can lactate. Welcome to your new phobia. One of the great shower thoughts of all time is, why do men have nipples? Are they vestigial nipples, like a, like a nipple appendix that we used to have and we don't need anymore? Are they aerodynamic nipples? Are they decorative nipples? Are they functional in any way? How come mammals all have eight nipples and we only have two nipples? Oh my God, you have to stop using the word nipple. Well, the reason that men have nipples when we don't have mammary glands is because actually, we do have mammary glands. It's one of those things that forms before the embryo differentiates between one sex and the other. What we don't have is the combination of hormones that makes those mammary glands functional. Because it always goes back to hormones. Everything also comes back to shirts. Hey, have I plugged my shirts lately? People always ask, but I put it at the end of the videos. If you want to get a shirt like this or other clever nerdy shirts, you can go to answersofjoe.com slash shirts. Done. Now to explain how all this works, there's no way around it. We're going to have to talk about boob anatomy for just a second. If that makes you uncomfortable, feel free to skip ahead. But to be fair, you did click on a video about male lactation, so you brought this on yourself. When we're kids, boys and girls have the same situation going on. We have mammary glands, but they are not activated. They're basically just modified sweat glands. And then puberty happens and we start making all kinds of hormones, which do all kinds of things. But in girls, it's a combination of estrogen and progesterone that kind of turns on those mammary glands. The glands swell up along with fat cells or adipose tissue that actually creates the shape of the breast, but it also protects the mammary glands and creates space for those glands to enlarge later on. Wait, let me, let me finish up the anatomy thing real quick. The mammary glands are divided into 15 to 20 lobes and are made up of little sacs called alveoli, which are lined with myoepithelial cells. The myo part of the word refers to muscle cells or things that can contract. And the epithelial part of the word refers to cells that line the inside of things. So myoepithelial are cells that contract to push the milk out, which it travels through like tiferous ducts up into the skin around the, um, the, um, boob hats. Those. So it's estrogen and progesterone that makes all of this sort of come into being, but that's not what actually makes the milk happen. For that, you need another hormone called prolactin. This is produced in the pituitary gland, and this is what makes those alveoli produce milk. So, to answer the age-old question... I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Yes, you could. If your body was making prolactin. So what could cause a man's pituitary gland to create prolactin? Well, a tumor, for one thing. We hear all the time about how an overactive pituitary gland can lead to an overproduction of growth hormone, which can lead to gigantism, which is something that sounds awesome until you realize that most people with gigantism lead very short and painful lives due to skeletal and joint problems. But a tumor on the pituitary gland could cause the pituitary gland to produce prolactin, which would cause milk to come out of the breasts, probably a lot of other things as well. So if you're a dude and you suddenly start producing milk, I'm sure that's a fun little party trick, but you might want to see a doctor about that. Another thing that could cause it to happen is starvation. In fact, this was reported to happen by Japanese POWs and Nazi concentration camp victims in World War II. This video just stopped being funny, didn't it? But yeah, when your body goes into starvation mode, it actually shuts down a lot of your hormone production, but it also sort of shuts down your liver, which um, kind of processes all the hormones. So when you do have some proper nourishment, the glands actually recover a lot faster than the liver does. So hormone production spikes, goes through the roof, produces all kinds of things, including prolactin, 
and the MILF doc flow. In fact, a similar rush of hormones occurs in babies right after birth, which means in a small number of cases, about 5% of them, infant babies can produce breast milk. This is also known as witch's milk. All right, so if any of that has made you uncomfortable, here's a doozy of a fact for you. Apparently, according to a 1995 article by physiologist and Arthur Jared Diamond, men can be stimulated to uh, produce milk by manipulating the uh, the nipples. Mere repeated mechanical stimulation of the nipples suffices in some cases, since mechanical stimulation is a natural way of releasing hormones." Unquote. He then went on to describe some stories of mothers who adopted babies and didn't actually go through pregnancy but were still able to nurse them, and a story of a 38-year-old man in Sri Lanka in 2002 who was able to nurse his two daughters after his wife died in childbirth. Because modern problems require male breastfeeding. Of course, it's exceedingly rare for this to happen naturally, but there are artificial means of creating breast tissue and activating mammary glands through hormone supplementation. This is commonly done by transgender women. And there is an experimental method for inducing lactation using a process called the Newman Goldfarb protocol that actually uses an anti-nausea medicine called domperidone. So if you're a single dad and you just really want to breastfeed your kids, I'm just saying it's possible. Get that man a father of the year trophy. So you might be wondering why I'm talking about this at all on this channel, and I mean, here's the way I see it. If, if you can make a video that is so off topic for your channel that most people won't even click on it, and it'll mentally scar anybody who does, and it will absolutely, without a doubt, be demonetized, I mean, <laughs> you gotta do it, fam. That's a win-win-win. Actually, it's just one of those weird things I randomly ran across while researching something else, and I was immediately both fascinated and horrified by it. At the same time, I was horonated. So I thought I would pass that on to you. Enjoy the horror nation. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy being horror If this is your first time here, you might want to check out this video. I talk about many different types of topics, not just about male boobs, and uh, or any of the videos on the sideline. And if you like those, I invite you to subscribe. Come out with videos every Monday and every Thursday. Like, share, uh, comment down below. Tell me how horror you are, and. Uh, Let's all have a, a good time and try to be pleasant down there. Anyway, until next time, thanks a lot for watching. You guys go out now, have an eye-opening rest of the week, and I'll see you on Monday. Love you guys. Take care.